The Select 8 is a single gang wall plate with eight LEDs and a rotary encoder which also functions as a push button selector. The Select 8 is connected to an Audio or Nexia device using the RCB remote control bus and is very simple to program. If you place a Select 8 in your configuration file and double click on the Select 8, there is no control panel, nothing pops up. If you want to use the Select 8, you use the logic outputs along the bottom of the Select 8 to drive other logic objects in your configuration file. If you have an 8-channel source selector and you want the Select 8 to control the background music in a room, all you need to do is right-click on the source selector, go to Edit Block Parameters, and turn on the logic inputs for that source selector. If you wire those logic inputs to the Select 8, you're done. That's all you have to do to program that Select 8 to control that source selector. When you rotate the control on the front of the Select 8 to position 5, for instance, press in on the knob, it will select Source 5. Rotate back to position 2, press it on the knob, and the Source Selector will change to Source 2. A Select 8 can also be used to trigger presets. If we place a remote preset in our file, double-click and set up the presets just like normal, we can wire that remote preset to the Select 8, and we're done. That Select 8 will now trigger those 8 presets. A Select 8 can be used to trigger anything in Logic. In some cases, though, the results might not be quite what you're expecting. A mute control is a good example of that. If we wire a mute control directly to a Select 8, now when I rotate the control to position 3 and press the button on the Select 8, we might be expecting to mute that channel. The controls on the Select 8 are momentary in nature. They're not latching. So if I want to control mutes for 8 music channels, 8 microphones, I need to add a flip-flop into this logic circuit. A flip-flop is a type of logic gate which changes its output state every time the input state goes from low to high. What that means is when my momentary contact for position 1 on the select 8 closes, the output of the flip-flop gate will change from on to off or vice versa. If it's off, it turns on. If it's on, it turns off. So I can change the state of the flip-flop gate outputs with a momentary contact from the select 8. By wiring it up between the select 8 and the mute control, every time I touch the control for position 3 on the select 8, Output number 3 of the flip-flop gate will reverse itself and either mute or unmute channel 3. The select 8 can also be used to control the partitions in the room combiner. It can turn on or turn off the ducking of the ducker. It can increment or decrement the level on a increment decrement level control. With the select 8 you can accomplish quite a bit with very little programming. 